one of the most exciting parts about kvk is being able to zero a bunch of your enemies when they're offline and don't realize that their territory is being destroyed or that their starting zone is being invaded so today we're going to take a look at a bunch of different rallies that were performed by my alliance zeroing a bunch of the enemy players here in kvk now this heroic anthem ends in three days in nine hours and i mentioned in a previous video that this kvk happened to be one that i just wasn't able to participate in as much as i would have liked to but a few days ago i woke up early and saw that my alliance was rallying a bunch of people so I teleported over and joined as many as I could I think I missed a couple of rallies at the beginning there but I was able to capture a decent amount of this and as you can see here between the alliance that I'm in and also the alliances of 74 here a ton of people were getting rallied okay it was absolutely ridiculous here we see a battle report that was shared by Misty with his Gilgamesh to Myris against this Maestro 77 player. I saw quite a few of reports against this player city. I'm not really sure what was going on here. A Zangyu Nevsky on the wall. I guess maybe they thought that was their best choice up against an archer rally like this. I, I don't really know, but as you can see here, the dead trade was, I mean, <laughs> pretty crazy stuff here to be honest with you and typically when you're defending your city unless you have like over 60 or 70 percent of your city is a single troop type you probably want to have a garrison that's a bit more mixed than this because this is not giving any stats to whatever infantry or archers or even siege that are in this player city I think that's why YSS is so good on your wall so again I'm not really sure what the strategy was here this player maybe I mean they know their composition better than I do but even still that was uh quite the devastating rally then we come over here to Mr Panda who's being hit by an Attila Takeda that is the classic city rally combination looks like we're in echelon formation here which is kind of interesting obviously you wouldn't use wedge formation with Attila Takeda but uh yeah definitely doing a little bit of a melt job here a little bit of a bonfire look at the white numbers I'm pointing at there just absolutely incredible uh the Guan Yu is hitting pretty hard but you could see here that oh oh it wasn't even Attila Takeda it's Attila Nevsky interesting okay I actually didn't notice that at first um but even still this this rally is just absolutely demolishing uh the enemy here and uh looking looking pretty good there we got a nice little bonfire obviously this dude is basically just a vulture trying to pick up the scraps people running away not paying attention you know it is what it is you have to do what you what you have to do now again I don't have reports for every single rally here but we're gonna go over a bunch more reports later in the video so make sure you stay tuned for that here we can see this player Nexen Z is getting hit by a uh Zhang Yu with an ethel fled on the wall which is quite unfortunate for them uh this is clearly not gonna last very long uh, ethel fled I mean she's a leadership commander so I guess if you have a mixed army or mixed city maybe but really no like that's really not what you want to be doing it looks like they have Cao Cao as their secondary we've got an ethel fled primary and then you see the horsies there that's 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 Cao Cao right so yeah pretty pretty disgusting outcome this player was I think 58 million so certainly they should probably have something better on their wall by season of conquest but it is what it is and one thing that I think is important to know is that a lot of videos especially on YouTube talk about rallying players that are 150 million 250 million like these crazy whale players and a lot of people forget about these smaller cities these 60 millions the 30 millions those are the players that sometimes have a surprising amount of resources because they've just been hoarding up all game or they're saving up to get their you know the next big upgrade for their for their tech right and and that's where you're going to get a ton of extra resources and free kills free value or it's a player's farm account right a lot of farm accounts aren't in the 100 million power range or at least they certainly should not be for the sake of your kingdom's health so a lot of those farm accounts are low power and you can get a lot of resources for them so if you're wondering why we're hitting these like relatively weaker players players that's why I mean you're gonna get burned it's free kills it's free resources like we might as well burn them here we can see a report from Zippy in our Alliance using his uh let's see Zhang Yu Nevsky of course and oh my goodness gracious brother look at that oh my god that is beautiful so 72,000 deads to 2 million and that's a Cyrus Bjorn that cannot be I mean that really cannot be an actual choice for a garrison right surely they just picked whatever commanders were in the city at the time I mean I mean there's nothing about this that screams garrison right I I, I mean there are two different troop types so I guess you're buffing you know two different units in your city but that's just not the play man that's just not the play we got nice little resource looting here which is which is pretty nice but Whew, man that is that is a devastating rally for this DZT DRM2 I mean yeah I'm, I'm highlighting the fact that I mean it's just a disgusting report it's just absolutely abusive 
and that's uh quite impressive we got another rally here against dark for devil being hit uh 55 million power player being hit by a Boudica who is the secondary going to be here we see it looks like we got a player teleporting in perhaps to help them uh it's a YSG now we got Takeda on the wall I didn't really get the chance to see what the secondary was um but it oh it's Tao Tao again it looks like it's Tao Tao so yeah that's another quite uh depressing <laughs> depressing city rally and uh I mean you can see here I'm just jumping between all these different rallies it's ridiculous we got another Zhang Yu on the wall this Maestro 77 player I, I don't know what their strategy was here but uh if they were taking these rallies on purpose then they they they, they I'm not really sure what they were doing because this is not the way this is not the play I I mean clearly the first time I thought okay maybe they picked that that garrison because of the rally that was hitting it but as we can see here even when we're hitting it with an Attila it's still you know it was still a cab Garrus now here you can see this was a rally that I actually was able to join in and uh Zhang Yu Nevsky against uh, an Amenatore Artemisia and another pretty devastating report here 45k deads for us over half a million deads for them so very solid Garrison here in general but definitely better for um Archer heavy Garrisons so in the event that you have other troop types in the city they're not being buffed pretty much at all so again i don't know what the composition of the city was but unless it was like 70 percent archers perhaps there was a better option for them and also you have to wonder like the stats on there were probably all archer stats and the gear probably on the armaments as well so yeah it is what it is but here you can see uh, we're just jumping around tons of rallies so many things going on all at once i was struggling uh to to figure out what i should be looking at next and i'm also trying to join rallies in the process now i think this was the most recent hit that we just saw on maestro 77 city uh it was the attila takeda against the zhang yu nevsky that he still had on the wall um this one didn't perform as well if i remember correctly i don't think it performed as well as the previous one we looked at i think it was a uh, an archer rally but even still 6.2 million to 23.4 million i mean absolutely a disgusting report here 650,000 deads on our side to over 3.4 million deads on their side very very um depressing on the defender side here again not sure what this player's strategy was I think realistically they probably just were offline I can't imagine that it was plan to go this way because it's it's definitely hurting quite a bit pretty crazy stuff there here is yet another hit on that player's city this is Attila Takeda from Misty uh we got 1.3 million to 8.9 million perhaps this was the one that we were just looking at I don't actually remember but it wasn't Attila for sure uh and they're definitely dwindling as far as troops go here I mean we have 164k to 1.3 million again just an absolutely devastating rally uh, and you really can't take too many of these no matter how big of a whale you are a few rallies like that I mean this dude is zeroed 56 million was 103 million 103 million power player uh completely chopped in half all of his troops just eliminated I love the uh the picture of Hasbula here it's it's adorable it's like it is what it is RIP basically RIP to that 100 million power player that is too bad but here we can see another rally coming in here against TD Bamis 300 and immediately pops because this player is already zeroed so that is uh we saw a couple of instances of that as well it is what it is here we have Nate's Attila rally coming on up against a player Jeff Foxick 83 not sure if I pronounced that right but uh here it comes and we see none other than Kusanoki on the wall so you already know that this is going to be a devastating rally I mean it's a 41 million power player so again it's not it's not a mega whale okay certainly not but these again these cities are the types of cities that secretly have quite a bit of resources so we'll see what the outcome is here uh but it looks like it is a Kusanoki and F Ethel fled yeah Ethel fled here we have Nevsky as the secondary for I mean dude the 130 it's it, the hits here from Nevsky are just disgusting so yeah I mean even the white numbers here 71k it's just I mean Jesus Christ so this player immediately burned immediately uh destroyed and we can see people coming back in for more just like you know drooling at the thought of getting basically free resources they lost about 10 million power from that uh from that rally down to 32 so pretty impressive stuff here we see a bunch of dudes just swarming it down at this point really no point in uh launching another rally against somebody like this because it's it's a pretty easy kill especially with that Kusanoki on the wall I don't know it's probably the best that they could do so I'm not really judging on that but uh it is what it is I mean just just look at this just look at this I mean we're gonna scroll through here in a sec and it's like bro it's just it's crazy between our allies and us it's crazy so here's that actual rally report 848k 
to 9.3 million i was right about the ethel flood there obviously we could tell by the animation but 100k deads here to nearly 3 million 100k to 3 million an absolutely devastating rally on this player's city uh again i'm assuming they were offline definitely not um definitely not a hit that you want to take uh and here i just was curious to know like what is what's going on here this is obviously not a t5 player typically t5 are around 50 to 56 million that's typically what t5 minimum is so uh you could see a ton of their troops here were tier four troops a lot of tier three a lot of tier two and even some tier one troops in here so i don't know if this was like reinforced by somebody with like what what is going on down here i have no idea but uh yeah definitely a city that was not ready to be hit by somebody like nate because Whew, boy that is it's unfortunate now here we can see this 24 million power player coming in with a siege rally so i don't know if this was perhaps a farm account of theirs or if literally like this was just the end and we just wanted to see how many resources that we could actually get as you can see here horse thief okay i actually was able to join that rally with my uh, with my herald boy over here so let's take a look and see i got the i got the achievement for that one and we'll scroll down and boom 107 million up each baby let's go obviously they were completely zeroed so again not sure if this player was a farm account or what the case might have been there but um yeah absolutely devastating and to be honest i don't have that many resources from the previous kvk so uh i desperately <laughs> we needed those yeah this is the resource uh resource breakdown as you can see here okay i got 7.3 million of each so over 14 million total so uh that was a, a pretty nice little plundering there here we have another zippy rally coming in to hit rasichi 161 i don't know if i have a report for this one i can't remember but we got mulan on the wall defending against a zhang yu certainly not the commander that you would want especially as a primary she has some added bonuses as secondary but again as primary definitely uh definitely not a good choice so here's the report there two million immediately just zeroed just dead everything they had dragon lancer as the secondary so obviously that was not on purpose there's i mean even for a farm like no a free 200k kills so i mean hey why not and also if we take a look at the breakdown here of the city they are actually a tier five city which is shocking given given their power and given this status here but really no troops and if you look here i don't actually know if i show it but we got a ton of resources from this city yeah over 20 million of food and wood 11 million stone 75k gold so they had no gold unfortunately but yeah really nice hit for the resources so hey i'll take it here we can see tommy coming in hitting a player with the amanatore i think this was the amanatore artemisia player that we saw before they're at 43 million here i don't know if i ever show their uh, highest power ever but certainly this wasn't a max tech player right because they're below the 50 million mark so there was another burning and we see 100k 12k deads to half a million deads on the enemy side so once again devastating burning on on the enemy's turf unfortunately we took about 14 million of each resource so hey i'll take it perhaps this was a farm account or maybe not who knows it is what it is we're gonna get melted down on the way home here but it doesn't really matter we all know who the victors were so here we have a rally coming in for a 107 million power player this dude has almost 3 billion kill points so this dude is obviously online he's probably playing so I don't think we actually end up hitting this guy. We might. Let's find out. Uh, let's see. Three, two, one. Pause champ. Ooh, we do. Okay. So this dude is, uh, I think this was one of the players that was taking rallies on purpose. And I actually think he defended really well. Uh, again, I think he intentionally did this. Obviously, we have Yadviga YSS on the wall. Probably the best garrison we've seen for city defense all video. So shout out to this dude for actually being prepared for a city hit and taking it probably on purpose I mean he's doing really well you could see the Attila Takeda uh is probably gonna lose this okay uh the white numbers here are still looking really good for us but I mean those those skill shots are just devastating I mean oof man almost 100k on each it's pretty crazy we're in the yellow already so again this dude I think um was a mistake to rally probably not like we got so many free kills and so many free resources we probably didn't need to hit this dude and basically just feed him free kills uh but hey it is what it is we're having fun he's having fun and it's a war game after all so you know if you're gonna hit somebody you might as well hit him you can see here my minimoto's probably trying to run home uh and i'm i'm you know i'm getting my getting my booty spanked for for being uh out in the open field with some trash gen one commanders that i'm using to fill these rallies because i basically only have one cavalry pair of commanders uh but yeah as you can see here the garrison is definitely winning this rally and uh 
probably was a mistake I don't know if I have the report for this we're gonna find out here in a moment yes okay I was actually a part of that rally with my Minamoto so it was 5.1 million power loss on our side to 5.5 million power loss on their side and definitely a victory for them obviously I mean here we can see we took 600k deads they took 200k deads and a full hospital so you know definitely better for them and certainly I don't think we hit them again after this because it just wouldn't make sense unless we had an even more powerful rally Attila Takeda still very good for hitting cities but probably Attila Nevsky would have been better that's my guess but I really have no idea obviously they also had double the troops here so like clearly they're gonna clearly they're gonna outperform so clearly this was unfortunate and I did actually just see in the chat that uh one of the Alliance leaders was pretty upset that we actually hit this dude because I mean it's a it's a well with a great garrison like obviously we're gonna take the L also they got free resources here I think because the rally died so yeah overall probably a plus for that player here we can see uh I actually am a part of this rally panda cat with my Nevsky march inside there and I just missed it but you could see that last skill hit oh my god that's pretty much how the entire rally went we'll take a look here at the report 138k to 3.2 million dude CPO certainly not somebody you want to have on your wall Sun Tzu probably a good choice if you uh have nothing else but as you can see here neither of them are either even max level right so this was definitely a devastating blow to this player's account I, again I don't know if this was a farm account or not but um certainly if this was not a farm account this is going to hurt the morale of this player wanting to continue to play the game because they're probably just trying to get to t5 and now they're zeroed so that's that is unfortunate but they did have 1 million troops 635k deads to our 20k so yeah incredible trade here um absolute massacre basically we took a bunch of their resources here as well so here I uh go ahead and share it with the Alliance so everyone knows what's happening but yeah as you can see a lot of the rally reports ended up like that pretty disgusting stuff here we have a rally coming in against El Gesso SW uh this player I think it's 34 million they started at 36 million and let's see what happens here we have a, a Sun Tzu on the wall taking some pretty thick white numbers and we see down to 33 million now and uh one skill shot is all it takes and they're down to 30 million so yes that is unfortunate and we see here some players some greedy players coming back in for some free swarm damage because they know that like a 30 million power player what are they going to do they probably don't even have any troops there so it's just free resources if you can uh, get that burn in there which is beautiful swarm them down and uh gg i don't think i have the report for that one unfortunately but we can see here that there's actually a little bit of flag fighting going down here misty uh doing some work against this this flavius garrison here um we got a little bit of swarming on both sides here you can see sam w swarming it down on our end and we've got this other player with the zangy swarming it down on their end uh but there's just nothing they can do misty's rallies this kvk and i think last kvk as well have just been absolutely brutal like oh, dude a misty rally that's <laughs> stupid cream of the crop right there here we can see um 2.4 million loss on our side 4.2 million loss on their side and uh this was you know it's pretty good I'd say pretty good Flavia CPO very uh very good uh, garrison and um just couldn't hang with Tommy man Tommy is just she's just savage <laughs> here we have ham man 45 million power player gonna get hit by Felipe and this is not gonna go over well let me tell you that so we got Sun Tzu again on the wall and just look at the white numbers bro it's like 12 times higher and again I know that's not that impressive because it's obviously a 45 million power player with a with a garrison that's not really meant to be hit by season of conquest uh commanders and was that a Theodora secondary secondary what is the what is or may oh it must have been YSG yeah no I didn't see the YSG arrows what's what is the secondary on this dude look at it's a circular AoE Boudica is our secondary because it's gonna hit there those meteors are from Sun Tzu no idea no idea anyone know what that is anyone know what that little purple animation was at the end there not sure who the secondary was there but it looks like this Jeff Foxick is getting hit again unfortunately and here we're swarming them down yeah whoever that second maybe it was I don't know there's like little flowers coming out of it but you can see that they're a 33 million power player now so they uh definitely took quite the beating so that is that is too bad I must be going crazy what secondary has a circular it, mu it can't be damaged it's got to be a buff it's got to be a circular buffing area oh it's Mulan I just saw it it's Mulan there it is mystery solved okay he had a Mulan secondary I guess I guess that's solid if it's like five 
511 or something like that i have no idea probably the best that they could do and it is a gold key commander so hey it is what it is definitely better secondary as opposed to primary but now they're just bullying this dude and that's just not fair so let's see what goes on down here we've got a rally hitting right at the moment and it is a sargon defense 54 million power player here probably shouldn't have a sargon on the wall uh it's a max zeus maxos player uh in pwy2 and this attila is just melting it it just was completely melted that rally only lasted for like two seconds so here we see that it used to be an 86 million power player now down to 54 million so the mighty have uh, certainly fallen here viking civilization that is that is just too bad and here i'm just double checking to make sure that that is true and it is indeed big real it is very true so here we have that Hamman city report uh felipe hitting it and there's the mulan that i figured out because i'm such a detective 112 uh, 000 deads on our side and 2.2 million deads on their side that is a staggering number of losses for a player especially if they are not a farm account my lord that is devastating sun tzu not even level 60 pretty shocking there to be honest with you not a tier 5 player as we can see here got a lot of uh tier 3 tier 2 and some tier 1s even as well so yeah we took um quite a few resources for them as well here we can see that we hit one prince farm account okay uh we took 75k loss here 1.1 million loss on their side oh this was actually just this was a swarm my dude just swarmed him down look at this look at the it's crazy oh my god dude so okay basically put a bunch of troops in the hospital no deads for them uh but they basically already plundered as much as they possibly can plunder probably from a previous swarming so yeah devastating but again a farm account so they probably don't care too much about those troops uh but certainly they'll care about the resources that were taken here we can see that uh jefoxic 83 was hit once again and a bunch of resources were stolen just yoinked it from them because they've got no troops left gg next is this rookie player uh and i think that that name is relatively fitting based on their power level but also once we come in here 74 coming in with that hit this was not my alliance so credit to 74 for this one we got a guanio on the wall boys i mean look perhaps that was their best choice so no judging there but i mean look, yo down to 33 million the white numbers are looking pretty good as well um guan yu coming in a 10k hit to a 230k hit absolutely uh disgusting they've got looks like martel behind there so i mean a very infantry focused garrison martel solid choice on the wall i would say uh for what i assume is a free-to-play player or something like that perhaps a farm and we've got another attila rally i mean you can see how i'm struggling to keep up with how much is going on here we have a 62 million power player 50 million kill points and we've got what appears to be an attila takeda rally coming in and smacking them we got another ethel flood on the wall boys that's not what you want to see dude uh not what you want to see the white numbers here 3k to 43k that's insane right there uh immediately getting melted down we'll see who the secondary is is it sun su is that guan is that guan right there? i think that was a guan yu secondary why would we see a guan yu secondary? there's no there's no benefit to having guan yu secondary other than maybe you want the leadership talents on the fled but that cuts your guan yu skill shots in half so that is definitely uh definitely unfortunate strategy indeed it was a guan yu so we had 65k deads on our side 224k deads on their side plus a full hospital so a half a million power loss for us 8.8 million power loss for them again this is not this is not it boys this is not it take notes if you're a free-to-play player if you're a, a low spender even this is this is not what you want to do also you just don't want to take these rallies right like if you know that your home zone is going to be invaded probably just go back to home kingdom or bubble for 24 hours something like that uh because this is i mean this is just devastating this is this is not good for this player for sure good try right i mean like at least we didn't see like a sun tzu or like a mulan or a kusunoki right but uh definitely i mean ta is ta is a savage everyone knows ta is a savage so you definitely don't want to take a you don't want to take a city rally from them that's for sure uh but they were a tier five player so those are all tier fives that we're putting uh putting away in the hospital and in the grave so that is too bad here we have Werner gt a 62 million power player almost a billion kill points so good for them uh we got a rally coming in here definitely gonna lower that power quite a bit uh this looks like a nevsky joan is that what this is uh this is also 74 that's that's the alliance hitting him the white number is pretty solid here uh definitely a big difference and boom that 200k skill shot is just i mean my my lord my lord jesus christ this is a 
uh Joan of Arc hitting with 160 and then oh my god we're gonna hit it again for 144 right after just absolutely disgusting melting that city down like it ain't nothing uh we saw a saw an Attila on the wall there definitely a first for the video I'm not really sure what the strat was and then the secondary I think was uh Takeda so I think we saw an Attila Takeda garrison right there definitely um definitely not the way but uh that's probably how they got so many kill points to be honest with you using Attila Takeda at low power levels is gonna generally give you a pretty solid amount of uh of kills and unfortunately because that um was 74 I don't think I have access to their reports throughout this video but here you can see 74's king right here is uh is burning so that's that was probably on purpose but also not really sure what's going on there but they I mean they have almost six billion kill points they know what they're doing i'm not worried about that here we have another uh rally coming in hitting storm raiders we're gonna see if this even does anything or if it pops immediately oh boy immediately you see the cpo on the wall that's not what you want to see uh is it going to be the sun Tzu secondary that's what i'm curious about they're a 42 million power player uh not really sure what they were before this but um it's going to zero pretty much so we see uh that was a Boudicca secondary I believe so that is not looking good brother not looking good things are going to end poorly for them uh and G G and then of course it gets swarmed down by those that are a little bit uh getting greedy so I don't blame them and here we can see dark for devil getting swarmed down by us and what appears to be a player that left our alliance so probably an ally of theirs who just doesn't want the tags on 53 million power uh they're probably just plundering all the resources so this Delufi player is probably just trying to I don't know get resources from their friend that way it doesn't go to the enemy uh decent strategy here I'm just clicking through it but yeah I mean you could see that it's just non-stop it's just non-stop swarmings um it's it's a zero boys that's a that's a zero in the books TD Bamis 300 taking another rally here uh from what appears to be it uh, doesn't matter it's a nothing it's a nothing burger we went in there for the stone boys we are rock hard okay we're bricked up 52.4 million stone thank you very much next we have a 36 million power player here in the golden rhinos alliance and uh we got ethel flood on the wall once again ladies and gentlemen that kind of gives you an idea of the the caliber of player that we're hitting in this video uh, a lot of farm accounts a lot of smaller players that don't realize what's happening uh looks like that's a richard secondary so they're going to be healing up their troops and basically filling their hospital even faster if you guys didn't know richard on the wall is not a good strategy it just isn't he's got a very high healing factor which basically guarantees that your hospital is going to get filled very very quickly it turns your slightly wounded units back into healthy units and a portion of those will then be severely wounded so you, you really fill that hospital really quickly um definitely not a strategy I would recommend so here it is Tommy with a 750k loss on our side to 9 million on their side 1.8 million deads crazy stuff there uh kind of not surprising though to be honest we got about 14 and a half million of each resource there so that is too bad for them yoink they were obviously a tier four player okay no tier five units there but there were quite a lot of tier four so that is too bad we got nate coming in here hitting jesper elliott's we're gonna see if there's any war here and there is not instant burn they were zeroed they are donezo gg we got 13.3 million of each resource from them thank you very much frederick ethel flood on the wall definitely interesting strat to be honest with you we got this 30 million power player here uh we're gonna come in and pop them we got a theodore on the wall okay so this player knows they know what they're doing perhaps this is a farm account okay uh we got uh, usually people don't invest in theodora at that low of a level um and we see who is the secondary couldn't figure it out couldn't tell you not really sure but they are getting swarmed down so at least the theodora is getting some free value okay at least they're getting free value out of that theodora's aoe it is what it is this must have been a farm account because we see we see like Gaius Marius over there hitting it so somebody must have known something I did all right with this Yazan player 33 million power player with Martel on the wall hitting by another Attila Takeda from uh 74 actually is that Attila Takeda or is it Attila ne I think it's Attila Nevsky actually um we got Martel and who is the secondary for this city wall I I couldn't tell honestly I couldn't tell it's uh is there no secondary I didn't even see an animation there it looks like we got Tomorrowland teleported in maybe to get some free kills but uh the rally's over boys we out of here so here was that rally against TD Bamis okay so we had 161k deads on our side 1.3 million deads on their side they had a Nevsky Joan on the wall so again not sure if they meant to do that or what the strategy is there but we got 12.3 million of each resource so uh you know what I'll take it we take a look at the troops here and yeah you see there, there's not there's not a staggeringly overwhelming amount of calves here that's really the, the downside we've got plenty of archers we have plenty of infantry and even in the tier fours we've got I mean we have more tier five 
infantry than we do tier five cavalry so having an all cavalry garrison probably not the best play but maybe it's the best that they could do I I, I have no idea all right here we have a 67 million power player we're gonna come in here with our uh Boudica rally and it looks like it's Spud's Boudica rally hitting a Zenobia okay all right so we have a real garrison here okay we have Zenobia actually uh actually dealing some some damage here 20k white numbers to our 50 to 70k something like that so I mean this is this is it is what it is man it's a it's a real garrison on a relatively weak player but what do we see as the secondary what the what was that I have no idea what that animation was to be honest with you that oh YSS okay we got YSS secondary makes sense I, I wasn't I see the poison there I realized that that's from Tamiris so okay it makes sense I get it I get it now okay I, I was a little bit confused there but here we go um this player taking a taking the rally really taking it taking it deep taking it hard taking it fast taking it thick you know what I'm saying uh and it looks like they're doing pretty well to be honest with you our spud rally is uh in yellow okay looks like we're winning but um clearly they've got some friends showing up here to do a little bit of a swarm action so definitely uh definitely a little bit of oof right there okay a little bit of oof you can see we've got some tier four in our rally so it's not the end of the world if it gets swarmed down and then the rally was canceled right after that massive skill shots love to see it and now we run home boys run run motherfucker run get out of here man get with and then they bubbled after so that was clearly intentional they wanted to take the hit they wanted to take it and uh yeah good good for them not sure what that I don't know if I have the report we'll see in a second but here you can see this hosta shade with a richer again Richard on the wall no no you don't want to do that okay so we got the Attila from 74 coming in here hitting it it looks like it's Attila Nevsky a 58 million power player we got a port coming in over on the other side uh, and this player is probably going to try to swarm down the rally not a great strategy if it's an Attila to be honest with you we've got Ethelfled at secondary okay not swarming the rally but they will swarm those that leave the rally so uh this is going to be probably a pretty interesting report if we have it I don't know if I have the report for this one either but again guys Richard on the wall no 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 I know he's a garrison I know he's got the defense tree I know he seems tanky and you might want that but certainly I promise you you don't okay so here's the report we actually do have that report from Spud we had the Boudicca Tomy coming in here uh hitting that player with Zenobia YSS we uh you know we definitely won the actual trade here I don't know what the reports were for those that got swarmed down after but certainly 287k deads to their 400k deads uh, I would call that a victory especially considering we had half the number of troops and we filled their hospital so 2.3 million power loss for us 4 million power loss for them uh I'm not really sure why they would take that rally but hey it is what it is man free kills for us too I guess I mean they got free kills as well but uh I don't know seems kind of expensive to me I mean look at this another one another one another one another like I don't know why like maybe they were just looking out for their friend but I mean man that's a lot of loss that's a thick L that's a thick L right there okay we do actually have that report from 74 against the Richard Ethelflaed we just saw a moment ago 1. million loss for them 8.2 million loss for Hosta Shade over here really unfortunate 160k deads to 1.5 million oof man that sucks and it looks like we got about 9 million of each resource there for 74 so good for them down to 50 million power looks like they are zeroed at this point and they are in the professional farmer alliance so perhaps this is a farm account but certainly not uh still probably don't want to get hit on there right I mean that's pretty that's pretty bad it was a tier four account it looks like no tier five in that in that city so I mean hey at least there's that we got another panda cat rally coming in here hitting a Richard on the wall brother oh my god what are these players doing what are they doing it says what Zhang Yunevsky it is a Zhang Yunevsky we've got a Richard Alex on the wall a lot of Alex's stuff only works in the open field a lot of Alex's skills do not work in a garrison so that is not the play that is certainly not the play and as you can see here instantly melted instantly melted and I actually have the report from that I was in that one so shout out to me <laughs> um so we had 45k deads for us and 10 times that 11 times that on the enemy side half a million deads for them and a full hospital yeah that is I mean 4.5 million power loss here is uh is definitely a GG so that is too bad for them we've got a ton of tier four units here million tier four calves so definitely a cavalry main here uh but yeah that wall was not it man that was even if they were all infantry you can make that argument but even still Richard on the wall is not the play and then we got people coming back panda cat swarming it down just for the lulls we got water trying to rally the pass here that's held by fire and uh we're just gonna ignore that now here's another rally report from earlier I don't think I was uh recording for this one I may have been I don't remember but it looks like we had a 1.3 million loss on our side 68 versus a 7.3 million loss on their side 
so uh actually we took more deads here but we filled their hospital and then we've got uh, what's going on over here looks like we had some players perhaps yeah hitting that rally so certainly we'll take that all day every day thank you here we've got nate hitting bamis 300 i don't know if this is the one that i actually showed already but yeah pretty devastating loss there and here we see surf with the henry nebu hitting the mandatory artemisia 1.8 million loss on our side 5.1 million loss on their side so 227k deads for us 671k deads for them we got 11 million of each resource so we'll uh we'll take those for sure this was a tier four player so certainly not somebody that uh could defend pretty well anyway and that's gonna do it for this video guys we had fun doing a couple of bonfires a couple dozen bonfires uh you know burning a bunch of the enemies in fire camp this is definitely not the type of video that I typically make but if this is something you enjoy make sure you comment it down below that'll let me know also drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it pushes this video out into the YouTube algorithm and it's another way to tell me that this is the type of content that you want to see on the channel if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace